So I have my second glass of Riesling and LaCroix passion fruit. And it's so good, it's very refreshing. So we're gonna call this segment Unfiltered Thoughts. So I've already had one full one, I've already had half of that one. And I'm just going to talk about whatever that comes to mind as in cooking. I think I've done this on multiple occasions where I would just look up on YouTube life advice or how to gain confidence. So in the past, if I had a moment like that, I would call like a mentor. I would call and get advice from someone older than me and that would be my mom or I guess that would pretty much be it that I sought advice like that from. I just wanted to get some kind of guidance, get some kind of reassurance that what I was about to do was the correct thing to do because remember, for a really, really long time, I was focused on finishing up my degree and economics as a major kind of fell into my lap because the econ instructor that I had had taught the class Econ 101 so well and he was a really nice person and he was just so, he just taught, like, taught us like adults and he just treated us like equals rather than just a teacher and he taught math like I've never learned about math before. He taught math in a way that was just applicable to daily life with graphs, which I always thought was pretty easy to understand and read and interpret. So that's how econ became my major. So anyway, I just remember for a really, really long time, for as long as I can remember, since I moved away from my parents, I was working on my degree. So it just felt really like accepting failure to quit my econ job and go do something else. It just felt really scary. It's not something that people would do just on a random Friday. For at least like two years, I would call my friends, whoever it was, one of my close friends on my way home from work. And I would just be complaining to them about how the job went. But it always came back to not feeling confident. I didn't feel like I knew enough about econ and I didn't feel like really going to get my master's and learning more about it, I didn't feel good enough. And so I feel regret from changing careers at 30. Sometimes, I think it's so foolish for people to say, I have no regrets, I have no regrets. Like I did everything for a reason and everything came about to be it's like the fact that you're thinking about your past, it's some sort of regret in my opinion. The uncertainty at the time really excited me, you know? Even if it was going to be hard, even if it was going to be less money, I just wanted to get out of there and stop being, stop feeling miserable. To know the things that I know now, to own the tools and the little knickknacks that I have for my business, to own my own business, like all of these things I could never have imagined myself doing or having. And thinking about that, I'm like hella proud of myself. I think it's like very common to think that your ultimate goal in life is to buy a humongous house, be a millionaire, be a millionaire, be rich, and do something that you completely love. And it's creative, it's fun, it's not taxing on your body. But those idealistic really shouldn't fit everybody. Because when I tried to envision my life having those things and tried to put that as my goal, it just doesn't feel right. And I think it's because I grew up in a really small house. I come from a really small, tiny country and where there were a lot of people and People just walked everywhere, you know? And to imagine a house in the middle of nowhere with a huge yard and all of that sounds great initially, but it just feels 
kind of lonely. Like I need people walking around in the streets. I would need more human interaction. So if I could relay to anybody looking for life advice right now is that whatever you're doing, I think that that's enough. It's always great to have goals, but it's so important to live in the present and appreciate the things that's happening to you right now. If you're working some mediocre job or a great job that pays really well, whatever it is and whatever the circumstance, just know that if you're unhappy there, if you don't feel fulfilled, and these are general terms, you really have to dig deep. If you feel like a year has gone by, two years has gone by, and you feel miserable, if you can say that you feel miserable, you should do something about it. Because if there's anything that I know with 100% conviction, 100% certainty, do something about it. Whether it is changing your perspective, or whether it is simply Quitting your job, doing something different. I don't know if this was a good idea. I just wanted to use this pan because I think this pan is just the best to cook with. It's non-stick, it's so cute, but for this much vegetable, it was probably not the best idea. I think at the end of the day, you should keep it simple, you know? You should take into consideration making decisions in while weighing out different options but instead of getting confused by all these all of these aspects all of these little contents inside this decision making process just remember why are you here in the first place like why are you even pondering making a change seeking some kind of relief because you're unhappy and you're unhappy and not satisfied with where you are right now. And for that reason, do something about it. This is totally going to be covered in the sauce that I showed, but the tomato alfredo, but I'm going to put a little bit of that. I feel like Brussels sprouts are just so friggin' bitter. I want to say this to myself. You were wrong when you thought you were going to have everything figured out by age 30. You wouldn't. Life is a lifelong work in progress and I am coming into terms with the fact that I am okay with that. If I'm doing my best and if I'm enjoying my life and I am keeping up with my responsibilities, then what is there to get ashamed about? Even now, like I really struggle with confidence and I am such a people pleaser I want people to like me all the time but then when I'm drinking alcohol I am so confident I'm like I don't give a fuck and I want to harness that freaking confidence more you know to realize like not everyone's gonna freaking like you and what if even if nobody liked you think of the people that matter the most and if they like you then that's all that you have to freaking do Honestly, your family, you want to be respectful of their wishes, you want to be respectful of their reputation, you don't want to just do whatever the fuck you want if that's going to hurt them in some indirect way. Sure, so you got to think about those things. If you're killing it in life, you're doing a good thing, you're taking care of the people that you need to take care of, or dogs that you need to take care of, then you're killing it. And that's all you can ask for. And I think that's, that's fine, like that's enough. I started to heat this up and I was like, oh, okay, I don't have that much more to do. I don't want to heat up the whole thing, but I didn't even start on the bacon. If you're looking for a video on how to be confident, how to gain confidence, then you probably are already killing it at life and you're not giving yourself enough credit. You're probably somebody's sister or brother or someone that someone relies on you need to remind yourself of all the great things, all the badass shit that you've done in your life and stop being so hard on yourself. Stop having low self-esteem because everything that you need, you already have. Life is hard enough with people judging you, people who you don't know judging you. Why be so mean to yourself when you have everything that you need just within you because you're a badass. You would never say the things that you say to yourself to a younger sister or younger brother. Just know 
you're kick ass already. Remind yourself of all the sh freaking great, good shit you've done in the world. And if you feel like you can't think of those things, the fact that you're out here looking for how to present yourself in a good way, that's already one good shit you've done. Well, the only person that you need to impress, the only person that you need to show up for is yourself. And if you feel like you're setting goals that you haven't been able to reach, for whatever the reason, then that means that you're setting your standards unrealistically. And if you have been doing that, that's okay. People do that. I've done that before. Everyone does that shit. But you have to realize like just little, just doing little is enough as long as you keep at it. So I'm gonna mix all this, put a little bit more sauce, some cheese and put it in the bacon. Put it in the bacon. Put it in, put it in the oven. In my head, it's like I'm trying to give up myself advice when I was at my lowest point. There's only like this much left. I guess I might as well just use the whole thing. I want to save it, but oh well. In conclusion, if you are not happy, don't stay static. Do something about it.